becomes a cultural act, not a force yeah, that's act. Amazing. That's why giving is such a pressure, such a depression in local church because it's a religion. Giving is supposed to be natural. So you're religion. saying religion is bondage? Absolutely. Listen, the number one opposition of Jesus Christ on earth was never sinners. That's right. It was religious people. I rest my case. Yeah. He never woed or rebuked or damned any sinner. But he woed and damned religious people. Why? Let me read a scripture for you. He said in Matthew chapter 20, he says, You Pharisees and scribes, you lock the kingdom up in men's faces. You will not enter. Neither would you allow those who would enter to enter. Let me quote that again. He was talking to religious leaders. He said, you Pharisees and teachers of the law, you lock the kingdom up in men's faces. That means you don't even want to talk about it. He said, then you don't want to enter it. Then he says, you are also preventing those who want to enter to enter. How? By giving them religion. Religion is the greatest opposition to the kingdom. It's the greatest threat to the kingdom because religion attempts to substitute itself for the kingdom of God. Therefore, religion is not of God. Religion, God was never religious. Jesus Christ was not a religious man. So it's satanic, you're saying? But, you know, you got to conclude that just by what you're thinking. You see, anything that keeps you out of the kingdom of God is anti-God. Jesus never joined a religious group. He never became a part of the Sanhedrin Council. And when they even arrested him and put him before the Sanhedrin Council, he never answered a word. Why? That was a religious trial. He's not a religious man. He didn't speak until he went My before God. Pilate, but now he's talking to a kingdom. Wait, wait, wait. Say that again. <laughs> he spoke they, before Pilate, but, but not before the Right. Sanhedrin. When they arrested him, the religious leaders arrested Jesus. Yeah. They put him on trial that night. Correct. He didn't answer them. Why? That's right. Wrong courtroom. He's a king. He's not a priest. But he, he answered Pilate, Pilate, though. He went before the, the, the kingdom, and then he could now talk. Oh, my Lord. So when Pilate asked him, are I gotta, you a king? Brother, I'm going to stand up and give a little praise here. But so this Pilate is asked amazing. Him, Pilate asked him a question, Benny. He says, are you a king? She says, ah, I can talk now. He whoa, says, whoa, 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 he says, whoa, whoa, he says whoa, not whoa, only am I a king, for this reason was I born, he says. And he said, my kingdom didn't come from the earth. It came to the earth, but it's not from the earth. It's interesting that the high priest, Caiaphas, had to adjure him by God Absolutely. to speak. And only then did he answer him. Absolutely. While the whole time he was quiet. It but was the wrong courtroom. Pilate talks to him. Let me tell you something that may amaze you. That is really amazing. Jesus said he couldn't find great faith nowhere in Israel. Do you know where he found it? With a kingdom man. A centurion. That's right. That's so true. <laughs> Who's the Lord to speak the word? Roman. He was a Roman. That's right. Why? He was thinking kingdom. See, in a religion, you got to appease your gods by giving them gifts. Man, this in is a awesome. kingdom, you demand things because you are a citizen. <laughs> members, awesome, really. members work on emotions. Citizens work on rights. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Say that again. Members. They get things done through emotion of people. That's why we cry, we cry out to God, oh please God, and we never get answers. A citizen doesn't cry before a court or before a judge. They make demands based on a constitution. So when you, so the, when that soldier spoke to Jesus, he was, he was dealing with constitutional power. So Jesus says, I've never seen anyone who understood the kingdom like this man, not even Israel. Because they keep long prayers, begging, much speaking. He said, this man just simply said, look, if you're a king, your word is law. If you speak, it becomes law. My servant will be healed. Christ said, this is kingdom thinking. I cannot contain myself. I'm sorry. I'm trying Let to... Let me give you one more here. point. Just <laughs> bless me. <laughs> I don't There's know. no such I thing. I can't handle it anymore. Please. I love you too. <laughs> well, we got to get this right, Pastor. Please, say it. There's no such thing as a member of a nation. You're right. You can only be a member of a religion. That's so true. You can be a citizen of a country. See, you can dismember someone, but you can't decitizenize them. All right. That's why the Bible says our citizenship is in it's heaven. In heaven, exactly. A king doesn't have members of his country. <laughs> he has citizens of his country. We're going to talk more about this tomorrow and the concepts of the kingdom. We're almost out of time. Oh, oh Hallelujah. Jesus, we give you praise. Can you believe what you just heard here? I mean, you're saying basically church membership doesn't exist in the Bible. It doesn't exist. When Paul refers, Jesus never used the word member. Never. That's amazing. When Paul was using an allegory, 
He said, we are a part of a community, just like the body is a part of the body. So when, 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 when someone says, well, how many members do you have in your church? <laughs> That's a serious question. Yeah, exactly. Because it's, it's an illegal question. You never say to anyone, how many citizens do you have in your organization? My God. Because citizens don't belong to a pastor, <laughs> they belong to a government. Listen, we're stirring people up, I'm sure, already, and causing <laughs> many to question. But th this is powerful, and it's in the Bible. I mean, Absolutely. Jesus never spoke about members. Absolutely. And this is why, for those who are watching us today, the reason why their prayers are not being answered, even getting healed, is because they believe they get emotional wow. enough, God will feel sorry for them. You but you don't get healed because God feels sorry for you. You, you get healed because that woman who went before the you judge... You're not talking about this tomorrow because about members get emotional. I, I love it. I've never heard that before. Now, all right, listen. These two... Tell me about all these incredible books you This have. is the first one everybody should get. It's called Rediscovering, Rediscovering. the Kingdom. Okay, great. This is volume two. This is called Kingdom Principles. This one teaches you about the 26 concept of a kingdom. Everyone should read this book to, re to reconnect to a kingdom mindset. And these are published by who right here? These are published by Destiny Image. These two? These two. And this one is Kingdom Principles. This deals with how kingdoms work. Very important. So this is one. This is number two. And 